Hi, Hi guys. guys. We have just been on an absolutely amazing fuels cruise. If you're not watching our vlogs, you are seriously missing out. Yeah, so we got the opportunity to go recently on the Sky Princess, and during that trip, we got to go and have a look and see all things kids. So when you think of taking the kids on a cruise, you think of those big cruise lines with all the bells and whistles like slides and dodgem cars. Like yeah, like Royal Caribbean. Or Disney Cruise Line. Carnival Cruise Line. So there's no doubt that these lines are actually excellent for families as well. But if you want more of a laid back uh, voyage, heavier focus on destinations, Princess Cruises fits that bill really nicely. And you don't have to worry about your children will do on board. Here are our top 10 things that make Princess Cruises great for families. Oh, and a bonus reason at the end. Let's go and see. Number one, dedicated spaces. All the princess ships have a youth program with dedicated spaces for kids and teens, and this is on all ships except for the Diamond Princess. So this program is called Camp Discom Discovery and encompasses three separate clubs. Now, many of the organized activities take place uh, within these spaces, uh, but they also utilize various venues around the ship as well. So the first of these clubs is the Treehouse, and this is for young children between the ages of three and seven. And it's where young kids have a bright, supervised, uh, forest-themed space, um, and they can enjoy toys. Um, they've got a kids' fun fair. They can do t-shirt coloring, crafts, movies, um, talent shows, and, and even more. So the kids can also do some fun science experiments and learn about a variety of topics uh, through the California Science Centers uh, Science on the Seas program. So the second group is the Lodge and that's for ages 8 to 12 and this area is inspired by the great outdoors so it's more cozy supervised center and it's filled with comfortable hangout spots and table games. Now the kids can participate in a variety of activities such as video gaming, sports tournaments, uh, they can watch movies, they can show off their talents in talent shows, do crafts and lots lots more. So just like the younger kids, they can also participate in the Science and the Sea activities as well. The last group is the Beach House, and this is for the teens. So it's for ages between 13 and 17. So it's uh, in more of a modern sort of beach themed lounge and teens can hang out and meet new friends there. They can participate in sports and video game competitions. They can perform also in talent shows. Uh, they can watch late night movies, learn how to do makeovers, and of course bust a move on the dance floor parties and more. So here's an insider tip. So if you're traveling with a young adult um, who's too old for the youth programming, but they still want their own set of activities because they don't want to sit around and watch people drink cocktails which they can't order themselves, uh, Princess actually has an answer for this. And it's extra special because it's not common in the cruise industry and it's something called Club 1820. So for those passengers who are between the ages of 18 to 20, they can learn a secret handshake and that grants them a special code word and that will unlock an exclusive list of Club 1820 activities and events made just for them. And the best part of this is that they're not gonna be around their younger siblings, no adults, and there's no sort of official or supervised host at all either. Number two, Discovery at Sea. So the youth program is called Camp Discovery and this is because Princess Partnership uh, is with Discovery, uh, but the partnership encompasses a lot more than that. So the kids can participate in hands-on Mythbuster themed science activities and presentations. They could create solar systems and stomp rockets. And this is all inspired by the Science Channel. Uh, they learn squid anatomy and the secrets of sharks in Shark Attack. And during a special day themed around Shark Week, uh, they do things like crafts, they play games, and even investigate mysterious sea creatures. And this is during an interactive scavenger hunt. With both Discovery and Princess's emphasis on Alaska, it's no surprise that there's a lot of activities themed around this stunning region. So kids can do things like they can invent tools to survive the harsh environment of Alaska through something called Survive Alaska. Um, and 
and also inspired by the deadliest catch, they build their own invention to help explore the ocean. So Discovery at Sea programs also help to inspire a love for nature. And this is done through learning through animal planet endangered species activities and the Lions Glacier Bay Junior Ranger program. And this is available on Alaska now itineraries. Number three, arts and crafts. Alongside all the other activities there are for Kids on Princess, um, there's a lot of art and craft projects. So kids can join in things such as the Lego boat building competition, um, or through Princess's partnership with Klutz, they can participate in things like paper aeroplane challenges. They can do projects such as uh, bracelet making, velvet art, creating paper flowers, doing thumbprint art. And the line also has crafts through their partnership with Discovery where kids can create uh, their own uh, animal puppets, masks and paintings. And this is inspired by wildlife in the region and where they're sailing. Number four, family friendly dining. So nearly every sit down restaurant across Princess Cruises fleet has a children's menu and this is filled with all the kids favorites so we're talking chicken fingers we're talking spaghetti meatballs burgers fish sticks and the dessert options of fruit salad and of course the ice cream sundae so as part of the youth and teen programming young passengers are also able to participate in two special dinners during the cruise and this is where the kids join the youth counselors and the new friends that they've made and they have a fun meal in one of the restaurants on the ship uh, as for the teens, one of their two special dinners includes a formal get together uh, and this is with their peers and this is done in one of the main dining rooms and it's complete with photographers or photographs and a group night out um, to see one of the evening stage productions in the main theatre. Um, throughout the cruise there's also things like kids pizza and ice cream parties and uh, there's also a uh, mocktail social as well. Number five, Stanley the Bear and Friends. So several years ago, Princess Cruises introduced Stanley the Bear to passengers aboard their ships. So according to the line's website, the story goes like this. So there was a curious young bear who wandered aboard a princess ship in Alaska. So as he was exploring the ship, he accidentally stepped into some fresh paint as he was wandering aboard and uh, he had like a little princess on his paw. So as the ship began to pull away from the shore, his eyes were welling with tears as he saw his home disappearing in the distance. And it was at that moment that a small child gave him a big warm hug and asked if they could travel the world together. So the crew named the Bear Stanley in recognition of Princess Cruises uh, founder Stanley B. McDonald. And throughout the voyage, the kids can interact with Stanley through photo ops, story times, and bear themed crafts and, and games. So plus Stanleys, which like this, um, they're available to purchase in the ship shop. So kids can always remember the fun they had uh, when they're on board with him. Number six, theme parties. So on Princess, um, kids can enjoy parties in the youth clubs and they have themes to them as well. So you have theme nights such as Mexican Fiesta, pajama parties, and they even do birthday celebrations. So these fun nights might feature some themed games to go along with this and they include things like music, dancing, crafts, and, and heaps more. So the themed evenings for teens include things like they have a dance party, they have a casino night, uh, and they even have a scary movie night. Uh, so there might be a, a, a teens only deck party on some cruises as well. So teens can all get all dressed up for the rock the boat uh, party. And this is where they'll stroll down sort of like a red carpet. Um, they flash a VIP badge and they enjoy an evening of like things like mocktails, awards and celebrating with friends really. Number seven, meeting local animals. Puppies in the Piazza and Parrots of the Caribbean. So during some of the select cruises, Princess invites local animals on board for passengers to meet through their um, partnership with Discovery Animal Planet. So with the Lions North to Alaska program on Alaskan voyages, guests can meet some of Skegway's newest sled dogs uh, during Puppies in the Piazza. So this is where families can take pictures and interact with um, the little puppies, uh, meet the handlers, and those handlers uh, will be training them for life um, of dog uh, mushing, so pulling a sled. So on Caribbean voyages, um, passengers can meet parrots uh, and macaws in the piazza, and that's through the rhythms of the Caribbean program. So this activity is perfect for animal lovers of all ages. Number eight, Junior Chef at Sea. 
So kids who are aged between eight and 12 can become chefs in, in training. And this is done through one of the line's junior chef at sea workshops. So what happens is the junior cruisers go behind the scenes uh, into one of the ship's galleys and they're there with the princess chefs and this is where they learn how to do things like decorate cakes or make fruit pizzas. And uh, the kids actually suit up with uh, mini hats, chef hats and aprons. And at the end of it, they actually receive a special certificate and a photo um, just to demonstrate their culinary achievements. Now, parents are welcome to attend with the kids, but it's not a requirement. And the best part of it all is, is that the kids and their families can eat the fruits of their labor at the end of the day. Now, one thing to remember though, is that there is a nominal fee uh, for junior chef, junior chef at sea. Number nine, sporting events for families. So there's a variety of sports competitions and classes for kids and teens uh, available on Princess Cruises. So there are things like basketball and dodge and tournaments, uh, table games such as uh, football, they've got air hockey, ping pong, um, there's a mini golf course at the top of the ship and video game competitions as well. Now kids can even participate in uh, a miniature Olympics championship as well, which is cool. And teens that want to move and shake it da, 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 can attend dance classes with one of the resident crew dancers and then show off their move during a dance competition. Uh, and for the first time at sea, yoga isn't just an activity for adults. Uh, it's probably not for me either. Um, three year olds all the way to teenagers can join a yoga class, uh, which is just for them. And this uh, helps promote things like coordination, breathing and balance with an element of play incorporating music, games and singing. So classes are complimentary and parents are also welcome to join. Number 10, Movies Under the Stars. So Princess Cruises is known for their Movies Under the Stars and this is where you can bundle up under a blanket, enjoy popcorn, chocolate chip cookies and pizza and other st snacks on the upper pool deck um, whilst literally watching a movie under the stars. Um, so many of the sh films that they show uh, during the cruise are family friendly. So they like recent Disney movies or family comedies. And then on some nights they actually have two movies. So one is geared more towards a family friendly focus and the other one is geared more towards adults. And I think this would have to be one of the most uh, unique uh, family movie nights you can actually have. So here's the bonus number 11 and it's the Reef Splash Zone. So the reason why we're including this as a bonus is because it's only available on one of the ships um, but we wanted to mention it. So the Reef Splash Zone is a water play area on the Caribbean Princess and it includes a big whale um, that rains from its fluke along with sort of water showers, sprays and a splash pool. And this area of the ship also includes like a game zone uh, with oversized backyard games, uh, there's comfy shaded sectionals and a kid friendly bar and it's complete with mocktails um, but there's also cocktails for the adults too. So we hope you enjoyed this vlog exploring what Princess Cruises has to offer for both kids and families and agree with us that there is so much to keep the whole family entertained and that Princess Cruises isn't just for adults. Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, like, comment and share.